Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. On today's episode, we're building a boat. Whilst on a boat, thank you to my Patreon supporters for keeping me afloat. We're going to B&Q to collect stuff. It's very hot out today. Oh wow, we're just busy today. <laughs> Waterproof sealant technically should be a good idea for today. But I don't think we need it. Hey, uh, uh, where can I find foam? What type of expanded foam? Mm, no, like a, like a thick, um, a kind of insulation foam-ish. Not like you that You've got stuff. them white ones, uh -huh. but that's all we've got. B&Q, kind of a bust. They don't have the right kind of foam. These two people crashed, but also we're at Hobbycraft. Oh, AC. Should we buy stuff to like bejazzle the boat? Um, I think let's figure out the boat. <laughs> let's figure out the boat first and then we'll bejazzle. Here we go. This is what I need. Do I want the big ones or do I want the small ones? I'll take the big ones. We found the little duckies and I want to put it around the boat. So we're getting some duckies. Are you oh. filming? Oh. Uh, uh, kind uh, of. Not right, really. you should... Thank you very much. We've got duckies, we've got foam. Let's go make a boat. Did you know I'm genetically predisposed to getting more bug bites? Thanks, genetics. We have to rent a canoe, but first we need to put on sunscreen because it is like 29 degrees out today and I burn up like crazy. People laugh at that photo of Mark Zuckerberg wearing like a shit ton of sunscreen, but that's the right amount of sunscreen for water sports. Wait, I'm defending Mark Zuckerberg. That's not a bridge I want to die on. Also, sunscreen needs to be reapplied, so set a timer. Hi there. Hi. Like a boat for two people? Yeah. Beautiful. How are you doing? I'm all right. God, I hope I don't drown. There is a lot more crap in the water than I expected, which might mess with my propulsion system. I hope you're not motion sick. Yes. <laughs> we are attached. I brought my tool bag. So I've got a hot glue gun with a battery and a spare battery just in case, and a bunch of glue sticks. Uh, I kind of pre-prepared electronics, by which I mean I grabbed a bunch of electronics that I hope will work for this project. And um, there's a bunch of tools in here as well. And just in case, I did bring my laptop because I don't know... I have a feeling I'm going to have to reprogram stuff, which will be interesting. My idea for this project kind of changed halfway. I was hoping for like a thick block of foam that I could just like put on the water, but they don't sell those anymore apparently. So instead, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking of like building like a tub of, of these, like I'll cut them and I'll like, and I'll hot glue them together and hopefully that will float. Have to begin. Oh, I didn't bring a pencil. I don't have any way of marking the pages. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna cringe me out. This would be dodge. But if I technically hold this up here and then I do a quick little and now I have a score mark. Yeah. Ingenuity at its finest. Oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> Every time I praise myself, I fuck it up. Lovely. We've got a red tangle. So I'm thinking we'll, we'll do that. I really should have brought duct tape as well. I did not think this through enough. Right. And I have to eyeball it. Ugh, this is not gonna be straight at all. I should heat up the glue gun now. Now we need a front side. You know what, I'll just cut these to be the same size and then I'll cut them after I glue them on. What I'm learning is even though I prepared for this video, I'm terrible at preparing for videos. And no, that one didn't have a satisfying <laughs> slap. Right, all the bits are cut out. I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up. What I'm gonna do now is uh, go over some of the electronics I brought with me. I brought a controller. This is the one for my droid. Hopefully it works with this project too. Uh, I, bought, I even bought a spare D1 Mini. I've got one on the breadboard, but just in case, I bought a spare one. Three motor drivers. One of them is again spare. LiPo battery. That's worryingly hot. Jumper cables. Uh, power cables that connects to the LiPo battery. And uh, this is my method of propulsion. 
it's, it's, it's pumps. I'm using pumps to propel it. These suck up water from this side and expel them from this side. I'm hoping to have two at the back that will, that will suck up water and expel it at the back, which will push the bolt forwards, right? And then we'll have two at the front to do the same thing but, but backwards. My idea of holding the motors in is to cut a hole in here, push these through, and use a whole ton of glue to hold them in, and hopefully that won't let any water in. I'm gonna be buff after this episode. Don't you fucking dare. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Um, sorry. <laughs> We've relocated, some bits got wet. Uh, the hot glue gun's hot though, so we can start gluing bits on. It's so hot that the glue, that the hot glue is bubbling. I may have left that on for uh, a little too long. Oh no, there's gonna be hot glue all over the bolt. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up to the wind. Oh, fuck, oh uh, shit, fuck, uh, uh. Uh, uh, okay. No, oh, don't be part of the bush. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is not what you signed up for. The wind's gonna push us that way again, but for now, we're okay. This is not optimal hot gluing conditions. Ah! Fuck, I burnt my finger bad. <laughs> well, we've got half the bolt done. Uh, do I have an off cut? I'm regretting a lot of choices right now. If I hit you, I'm not sorry. Oh no, sorry. Oh, no. Ah, and there goes my deposit. <laughs> sorry. Right, we just have to add one more side. I'm glad I bought multiple hot glue sticks. Now the sides. Gonna make sure that this dries. This is glued together. Now we can cut these extra bits off or keep them on. Maybe they're like speed. No, never mind. Cut them off. Always. Cut the water, Always. Did you know Patreon members get early access to my videos and behind the scenes footage from this video? <laughs> Bigger knife. So theoretically, all we have to do cut out the hole for the motors and stick them through. Hello, Swan. Any words to the camera? <laughs> I've been paid off by big sunscreen. Oh no. I've got to keep up my nerd persona. <laughs> oh no, not this fucking bush again. <laughs> Damn it. No, no, I don't want to go in again. I knew I should have brought extra blades. I knew I should have brought a drill. I'm going to stick it through here. One. That's a huge fucking hole to fill in with hot glue. <laughs> Just drying hot glue. I don't think I fully considered the logistics of this video. This was meant to be quick. They're okay. Oh no, this motor's pulling through. Just realized, why don't I just first test? It floats. Oh, I just realized something silly. This side's wet. If I try to put glue on this now, it's not gonna hold. Please don't trip on my fingers. I don't want another burn. Ah! What'd I just say? Dunk. Even though there's a hole in it, it's not filling up with water. I feel like I've overdone it with the hot glue. I think that's the last of the hot glue. I burnt myself for this video. Support me on Patreon. Hi, I'm Thomas. Would you like to subscribe to Mellow Labs? Please? Oh, you're interested. Well, I'll make DIY IoT videos. There's a bunch of 3D printing and... Oh, yeah, 3D printing. She didn't like 3D printing. Right, let's connect the power first. This is just a splitter for the LiPo battery. These motors are technically rated for six volts. I'm going to be giving them 12 volts. Uh, will they die? I hope not. Do I care if they do? Not really, they're very cheap. Now I need to connect to the 
five to the ground and the five volt pins for the microcontroller to get power from them. Luckily, there's a really nice, useful converter on these uh, motor drivers. Sometimes I'll just use these as a buck converter when I need to. The motor drivers are connected. We've got the power for the uh, D1 Mini here. Uh, green is ground, green is ground. If this works on first go, I'm gonna... Everything's connected. I'm gonna chuck stuff in here and I'm gonna plug in the battery and hopefully everything turns on. Okay, well that's hopeful. Connect. Please connect. Do I need to restart you? Oh! I think it works! Okay, 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 okay. Put everything in here. Oh, oh, when did this happen? When? We looked away for two seconds. This video is just a PSA for all nerds. Don't bother, stay out, stay inside. Don't touch grass, not worth it. Zero out of 10, wouldn't recommend. We're still connected, fantastic. Let's chuck all this in here. Everything is put together, so we should be able to just Please float. Okay, it floats. It's not very good at swimming straight, but... Yo, this actually works. So I programmed two modes into this remote and I'm not sure if they're gonna work, but theoretically this one should make it spin left and this one should make it spin right. So let's test it out. Oh, hell yes. Other way? Doesn't want to do it the other way as much. Oh my god, it works. It works. I made a boat with pumps and I'm going into the bush. We are actively going into a bush. <laughs> Can you control the boat? <laughs> and I try to get us out of the bush. <laughs> Sorry, I got you dual, dual wielding stuff. Uh, I'm gonna crash into it. <laughs> so yeah, spin. Other spin. Yeah, I don't think the, that motor set up properly. You know what, I count this as a win. I made a boat. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Mellow Labs. If you've learned anything, let me know down below and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. I don't need this trash anymore. Yeet. Excited building that boat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm secretly Spider-Man. <laughs>